On this video, I will share some tips and tricks that I find useful when doing boss hunts, and also some strategies that we use to kill high-end MVPs such as Time Holder, Bloody Knight, Stormy Knight, and the Red Dragon. Every boss spawns within 1 to 60 seconds randomly whenever the MVP timer shows he appeared. You would know that the boss spawned when the MVP shouts on the map and you will see it in the upper left portion of your screen. Next would be the MVP point system. This is just my own calculation based on my experience in boss hunting. So first hit it would be 3 points. Top damage would have 3 points. Second top damage would be 2 points. Top aggro would be 3 points. And last hit would have the highest points which is 7 points. Next is additional item buffs that I usually recommend during boss hunts. First is slow attack alloy since this item increases 100 attack for 30 minutes by just 8k zennies. Second would be 5 star ice cream. This gives plus 40 attack and 2.5 boss damage per food. Since we can stack 6 foods, that would be a total of 240 attack and 15% boss damage. Third is type B foods. On my case, since I'm a Lord Knight, this gives me additional 20% melee damage and 10 SDR. You can just change the food type depending on your class. Last is knowing the MVP's element, race, and size to maximize damage. And bonus tip, if you're hunting mini bosses and MVP's, especially if you're a ranged character, I suggest you step inside the boss's red circle before hitting the MVP to avoid him to teleport. Usually a boss teleports out when he receives damage but cannot hit anyone. So Stormy Knight is a tricky one. He can be easily killed if the trick is done right. First is you need someone to lure him at this position. It's on the right side of the map. And one tank waiting on the upper ground to catch him with taunt. Uh, just the same as what most people in Endless Tower do. Second is, when SK reached a certain amount of HP, he will summon a Stormy Knight double, and which will cast a link that makes SK receive 90% less damage. So what you need to do is lure out the SK double to cut the link and make SK vulnerable again. Since this dragon's name is hard to pronounce, let's just call him Red Dragon. The trick on this MVP is to burst him down until his HP hits below 9 million. Because if he enlarges himself and has 9 million or more HP, 
he is nearly invincible. This dragon is a large stack monster and also shadow property. Using a spare shoe would be nice, so if you can't burst him down before 9 million HP and he enlarges, I suggest you skip this boss. Bloody Knight. This MVP is one of the hardest bosses to kill, mainly because of his reflect damage and damage reduction shield. The trick here is to make sure your priest is far from the AoE skills that the boss throws and burst down the boss wave by wave. If you can see here, every time that we die, we don't hit back the MVP. We full reset and rebuffs, then do the same thing all over again. This works on hard bosses to prevent him from regenerating HP again. Time Holder. This MVP has a skill that gradually reduces HP of the players around him, and spamming Saturi on this boss is a must to compensate off the poison that it does. Plus, you need a decent tank to keep him in the same position where the Saturi is spammed, and as always, high DPS is really needed to kill this boss. Thank you.